whatever too far gone, my name is Playruption, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. I have done a lot since I last, or since I recorded this last, so when I recorded this last, I believe I got into the naturalist role, did the whole cutscene, and I didn't really know much about the naturalist scene when I played it last, or the naturalist role when I played it last, I was kind of just got in and got my feet wet. I have played it a lot since then, I found it about Gus, which is kind of like the hunt, he's that guy in the, he's the, he was the guy in the cutscene, who was like, oh, I sleep on a tiger bedspread, and... That guy that I really like. You can actually sell skins to him. And if you sell skins to him, you can get outfits. Look at this coat I got for hunting down the legendary bear. Like the Oza bear. Cut it down, sold it to him, and I got they gave me this coat. It's very nice. So the idea for this video is that I want to try and find some legendary animals. And I have got myself a cute in my back pocket. I got myself a cute little... Not the treasure map. Where is it? Here we go. Legendary animal map. And if my guy would open it... It shows you where all the animals are, or all the legendary animals are. So I'm, I can't really, I'm editing me, put some arrows in. Right down here where this deer is, is where in the tall trees region. It is one that I found before, so I kind of want to go for him. But the goal of this video is going to be to find legendary animals and either sedate them, or hunt them and sell them to Gus. The legendary bear that I'm wearing right now, I sold to Gus and got, I think, 20 bucks. And I got this really cool coat. But I hunted down the legendary white buck or something, some buck up in the tall trees region, and I sold and I took a sample of him and let him live. And he got me, I think, 15 bucks. So I don't really know what's more profitable. I want to say it's about the same. So if it's easier to sedate the animal, I'm probably going to sedate the animal and give it to what's her name. If it's easier to kill the animal and give it to Gus, I'm just going to do that. That was like the longest intro I have ever done. I think that was like over a minute long. It felt really, really long. But I had a lot to talk about, man. Oh, I also got this new horse since the last time we played. It's a Missouri Fox Trotter. It's a very, it's one of the fastest horses in the game. Okay, so right on the other side of this lake over there is where I found the legendary buck. I don't know if it's still going to be there or... If it's not, I'm gonna try and find it though. So when I found it the last time, it was literally just laying down here, like I'll nestled down, like resting out here in the open peninsula. But he's not here, and I don't know if there's something I can do to trigger the spawn. Oh, I never really told you guys. I found out the prices of different animals. Um, bears and elk are really, really profitable. They're like five bucks a head, depending on if it's a boy or a girl elk. And bears are also really profitable. So if you're gonna do the naturalist business, I suggest going after bigger animals, go out with 200 varmint rifle sed sedative rounds and just go for the bigger animals. I can't get the thing to trigger. Let's ride away and let's ride back. We'll give it one more chance to spawn in. And if it doesn't, I'm just gonna have to go somewhere else and try and find one. I don't know. I can't get it to spawn in. We may just have to try a different animal. I know you can buy legendary animal bait from, uh, what the heck is her name? What are the chick's names? I, I have no idea how I forgot. You can buy legendary animal bait from her, but I bought it like three different times and it's never worked. It always just says, legendary animal is not to be found. Try again. So now up here along the upper mountain river, like right here, there's like a legendary fox I can try and go find. Wow, it got foggy while I was on that map. Goodness gracious. Let's go see if we can get that fox. My goodness, I can't see anything. There we go. Oh, goats or sheep. I almost ran them over. This is like driving your car in the fog. You can just randomly hit stuff. Something chasing me. I have like a red thing on the mini map. Is that a cougar or a puma? Come on over here, bud. Oh, he made it! Ugh! Haha! <laughs> Harriet! That was Jick's name. Calm down, horsey. I got him. Flippin', I didn't even see him coming. Alright, well, up and down this river is where it is. Right around here is where the spawn or where the map shows it is. So I may just ride up and down, back and forth a couple times and see if I can get. Because basically, if you guys have ever hunted a legendary animal before, when there's a legendary animal nearby, you get a little ping in the top left of your screen, and there's a golden question mark on your mini map. So it's it's easy to find, or it's easy to get once that shows up, but it's getting it to spawn in, which is the tricky part. So I'll ride up and down here once or twice more, and I'll see if I can get it to spawn in. Let's ride up and down this side of the coast, or the not the coast, the river, and see if I can find anything. Okay, we're gonna ride back down one more time and see if I can get to spawn in. If not, we're gonna go check the uh, the bear, the one I killed, the Oza bear, whatever. I'm gonna see if he'll spawn in for me. And if not that, I may just do something else for this video. Oh, I got clotheslined by a tree. Oh my gosh, there's like eight spins there. That was incredible, man. Okay, well, I've ridden up and down the river three or four times and I can't seem to get to the spawn. I don't know if I'm at the wrong time or if I'm at the wrong place or if it literally is just chance and you just might not see it or you might. But I am going to go check the bear spawn. And if I can't seem to find the bear either, I'm probably going to do something else for this video. I don't want to spend the whole video just... Oh, it's back wolves! Rod, bastard, broomstick, we can outrun him! Okay, well, before those wolves so rudely interrupted me, like I said, I'm going to try and find the bear. But if I can't, 
I'm probably just gonna do something else for this episode. I don't want to spend the whole video just look, walking around checking different spawn rates with nothing, not finding anything. So since I've hunted this bear before, I know exactly where I've. Oh my gosh! No, fine. I don't know how I can't say four words in this game without being interrupted by stupid wolves. Hold on, broomstick. I gotta deal with these. You're not getting wet. You interrupted what I was saying. You die with the others. Like I was trying to say before I was so rudely interrupted again by wolves, I have I've hunted this bear before, so I know exactly where he spawns in, or at least one of his exact spawn locations. So I'm... Oh, I named my horse Tony. I forgot about that. I changed his name. I bought When I bought him, I named him Broomstick, but now I changed his name to Tony. Come on, Tony. I think it's a girl, though, so it's, it, 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 it wasn't well thought out, but, you know, it, it happens. Um, buddy, the wolf is floating away... Well, never mind then. So this is where I hunted him before. He spawned right up there to the left. See this creek running down? Midway up there, he was in there eating fish. And that's where I found him. He was right, basically right here to my left. And he's not. So, crap. Well, let's run away and let's run back. Let's, like, get the world to reload in. Maybe he'll spawn in. Maybe he won't. Okay, so we just dropped 20 bucks on legendary animal bait. Basically, it, it's gonna, it, it works by drawing in legendary animals. In the past, I have had absolutely zero success with it. But um, I'll, I'll give it a try here, just because I want to see if I can get the bear to spawn back in. Okay, I'm having no success with getting him to spawn in. I think I'm going to come down here and I'm going to drop some legendary bait. Let's give it a try. Let's see, I'm just going to waste this. Um, legendary animal. This scent provokes a reaction from the nearby legendary animals. Come on, give it to me. Please. Huh. There are no legendary animals nearby. Great. In other words, I just wasted 20 bucks. Okay, well, crap. Let's go to Gus. Let's sell some of the stuff we bought. Just because I, I haven't shown you guys Gus yet. And I don't know, maybe I'll find some else too for this video. I'm bummed I couldn't find them. I'm going to have to do some research as to where they spawn and what the best way to find them is. Alright, Gus, I haven't brought you much good stuff, but it's a little bit stuff. This is Gus's camp. He's got a couple of them throughout the map like Harriet. He just kind of chills here. But like, so see, this is the, the Owe, Oweza. Oweza bear, not the whatever I was saying. That's the proper name. So this is one you can get. This is another one you can get. My favorite is this. It's the marble fox pelt. This just looks so cool, in my opinion. Will do, Gus. You take it easy, buddy. Watch out for them darn cougars. Those suckers can cross rivers like in the blink of an eye. Should we go check up on the moonshine? See how my, see how the shine is coming along. Let's run on over there and and let's check it out. See how my base is doing. You know, sometimes the guys, if you're not there, they just they just, they start dinking around and wasting time and wasting your money. You gotta crack the whip with them sometimes. What the heck? Where did my moonshine cook go? This is what I was trying to tell you guys about. You leave and he just, he quits. Gosh dang it. Come on, Tony. We gotta go hunt down our moonshine cook. He probably went to take a dump in the woods somewhere or something. Here we go. Where were you, like, ten minutes ago? I made better moonshine, but I made it so long ago I haven't played. We have to sell it to good old Bart Higgins for less money. Now, ever since I moved the moonshine shack down here, the revenue men have been giving me, like, out of four sales, they've met, they've stopped and shot at me, you know, I think three. They are ridiculous down here. I don't know if it's that I'm in a new region and they hate me, but I've had horrible luck trying to get to places around here. Okay, they're right up here. Come on, guys. Just let me through. You've given me so much grief lately. Please, just let me through without shooting at me. Oh, come on. This is like, out of five, they've stopped me on four. Oh, thank goodness. Sorry, I'll get a move on. Oh, okay, so my luck seems to be improving because, I, like I said, I have had the worst luck with these recently. So this is great, because not only when you get, I don't know if you guys, how many of you know this, when you get screwed by a lawman and they hate you or whatever, they'll shoot at you there, but then they chase you all the way to your destination, shooting you the whole way. It's so annoying. It's beyond annoying. It's infuriating. It's made me want to punch a hole in my wall. Alright, well without a single hitch and without losing a dime, we have delivered the moonshine for the max value. So that was a good sale mission. Alright, well I'm going to end this episode here. I, I'm a little upset I couldn't find any legendary animals. I looked three different locations. I'm going to have to Google some stuff and try and find out how to spawn them in or how to get to them. But thank you all so much for watching. Make sure if you have something you want me to play, you post it in the comments so I can take a look at it. But remember, love runs the world. So don't forget to run the world.